Well, that's uh, that's about as poorly as we can play in coach. So we got a lot of work to do. We got a bye week, and we got a lot to a lot to figure out. That was dis- very disappointing. I'll try to help you with any questions you may have. Greg, what went into the decision to play Evan? Two touchdowns, four forty-seven left. That's really not a spot where you usually yank a starting quarterback. We didn't yank him. He went to the uh, injury tent. Yeah, Noah got. No, it couldn't go. Is he okay long term? Don't know yet. Uh, Greg, the uh, total penalties, I think, was 11. I guess the, the delay of the game specifically, um, and then the sideline infraction. The, uh, can you address those two? What would you like to know about them, Keith? No, you know, what, what happened on the sideline interference? One of the coaches hit into the official when he was trying to come up to, to make a play. He was in the, in the white area where you're not supposed to be. Wasn't you? No, it wasn't me. Okay. And then the delay game, so which just happened on the fourth and three, uh, where you, it looked like you were going for it. It looked like you were trying to get some substitutions in. Um, is that un- unacceptable at that point? Totally unacceptable. Yep. And then the uh, eleven penalties overall. Same thing. I mean, you, before this week, I mean, it seemed like you guys were pretty good in that category. But you know, is that another area where I mean, you're just going to have to go back and look and assess? Well, we've been trending the wrong direction, so you could, you could say we've been doing well, but we were doing really well at the beginning of the year. We were number one in the country in penalties, mm-hmm. and then it's kind of gone like this, and then today we fell off a cliff, whether it was DPIs, whether it was sideline infractions, whether it was delay of games. You know, once, once, the, once we didn't have the right per- people on the field, we weren't going to use the timeout at that point. We were going to take the, you know, go for the field goal, and I wasn't certain. I just felt like we needed to go for it and score there. But uh, once we once we made an error in our in our substitution, I wasn't going to use the timeout. It was too close of a game, and you know it was, it was I think it was fourth and three. It wasn't a fourth and one or something like that. So, what are you seeing from the tackle? Um, inconsistency. Yeah, you know we, we've we've been a better tackling team since we've been back with a lot of the same guys. So I have to really examine why. Um, yeah, that's one of the good things we can do next week is figure it out. It's very disappointing, though. Uh, my hat is off to Northwestern. They had a bye, and they got some things straightened out, and then we we contributed. So when that, when that happens, they had an opportunity to win a game, and they took advantage of it. Greg, I guess what went to your decision to reinstate Max and Chris, and I guess what happened with Max, and what's his status moving forward? Well, you know, as the statement said, um, I gathered information, and we felt that it was appropriate to return now to the team. And uh, we believed it was appropriate. And, and Max moving forward, do you have an update on his status? Or he got dinged up? Max got dinged up, he left the game. He, he did. No, I don't know yet what, how serious it is. Right. But he missed the whole game, and it happened early. 222 total yards and just seven points, you know, none in the second half. I mean, just. You know, where do you, uh, you know, where do you go from here from an offensive standpoint? Well, we certainly have to um, assess every, where we are and why we're here, and see what we can, what we can do to fix it. Um, some of it is personnel, some of it is scheme, some of it is organization, execution. There's a whole bunch of reasons, Keith. If it was one, it'd be easy. But um, yeah, that's what we have. We have some time to work on that, and we're gonna. Oh, I think I think we have, I think we really got to look hard. You know, it's again, you know, I, I said it at the beginning of the year. Um, we'll go as far as our offensive line will allow us to go. And you know, you've seen we're trying different combinations. We're trying to do, um, trying to find an answer there. And we also have to look at ourselves and say, are we are we doing things that they're capable of doing? And um, you know, it's certainly going to stink having a, a loss in your mouth for two weeks, um, but it's an opportunity for us to assess everything and, and really drill down on where we need to and how we need to improve. Could the bye week be a good time to kind of accelerate, Gavin? Uh, there's a lot of a lot of things, Keith, that uh, that we need to look at. So let me let me let me do it, and then when we do it, I'll let you know. Story of Ireland was just trying to the combinations of these. Yeah, I mean, Cedric. So Played a lot today. It's not like he, we were we weren't banishing him. It's not like he played that poorly. We just I want to be fair to everybody to have a chance. If if it's not going well, can we do better with it with someone else? And um, 
you know, I can't even tell you. I know this. It didn't nothing looked really easy out there. So I'm sure there was there was um, not a lot of great line play. But I'll look at it. You know, and we all will. We'll we'll get to a solution. You know, this is. I'm sorry. Do you have to reassess the kicking situation? This is a couple of misses now from Allen. You know, it is a couple of misses. Yeah, I gotta I gotta sit with him and figure out what's going on. You know, I'm not technically. I know enough to be dangerous. I'm not a technical expert with kickers, um, but we will. We will assess that as well. Uh, he's a very talented young man right now. It's probably something we gotta we gotta really drill down on and figure out where where and why. How much do you guys need this bye week too? Because obviously you're banged up. Several players are down. I mean, how much? How do you guys need this? Yeah, it's uh, it's critical. You know, it's tough. I, I knew going into the game that we were kind of hanging on, right? You had a lot of guys. You know, we lost Sutton for the year and O'Neal really couldn't play. He was here for emergency only, you know, in, in an area where we're struggling to have two two of the starters not there. So I knew we were struggling there a little bit and, and, uh, and there's guys that really gutted it out today that are playing with things that are very uncomfortable, but they, they, were, they were doing it to win. So I knew that we were kind of on the other end of the spectrum because they had had that week in the buy, but I, I just was hopeful that we could gut it out and chop right through it and then get the break. But that's not the way it went. So, but we're three and four, and uh, we got a break, and then we come back and we have five games. So it's a lot of football left to play, and I'm excited about this team. I'm excited about the staff. We got to get some things fixed. I'm not excited about some of the errors we made today, but at the end of the day, that's me. That falls on me because I'm the head coach, and everybody uh, reports to me. So when we have errors, I gotta I gotta go back and figure out why and see if I can't help them fix it. Final question: Avery Young was also an emergency guy. Emergency, he was here but uh, could not play. Um, Tyreek Maddox Williams could not play. So I knew where we were, you know. And like I said, there's some guys that played with things that you know, showed how tough they were, really. But um, we we definitely need uh, you know we need a chance to mend up and and. Um, as well as study what we're doing. And we're not going to overreact. You know, sometimes you can do that. We're going to really assess it factually and then make some recommendations and move forward. All right, thanks, guys. Have a safe trip home.